Hello everybody. Not too bad a morning this morning. We had rain most of the night. Not a lot really, but uh, it did rain most of the night. And it was cold as well. It's quite pleasant now. That's a Bramley apple. Uh, just come in. Flowers are just starting to show. Um, more fruit on that than we can ever manage. Looks quite well, strong. This one is a Cox's Orange Pippin. That's about the same stage as the Bramley apple. And that one is scrumptious. Has a red flesh to it, that one does. Uh, some years it's absolutely prolific, and other years we'll only get a dozen, uh, a dozen apples on it. But that's how the fruit trees seem to go. That's a pear, cordon pear. A lot of buds on that, but it usually gets the late frost. Um, it is sheltered slightly behind this he beach hedge. But we are in a bit of a frost pocket here. And then this is a this is a lovely apple, this is Falstaff. Um, that produces a large uh, and it, a large apple and keeps very well. Keeps well into mm, end of February March. It's a good a good good tree that isn't a good, it's a it's a good variety. Damson uh, usually that's completely white, you can't see through that. Last year was a good year, so this year probably won't be so so prolific. And um, two more pears there. That one looks beautiful. Uh, can't remember the variety of that one. Uh, Louis Louis Bonnie of Jersey. Um, I don't suppose we'll keep all the fruit on that. I have been putting the fleece over it at night because we've had a few frosts here. And this one's been in two years. This is its third year, and that's the first year we've had flowers on it. Um, I think that's called Invincible. Excuse the shadows. And uh, there's a few more down there. It does look lovely, and uh, when the bees are on it, it really does hum around here. You can hear all the honeybees after the nectar. The uh, weather's a bit more seasonal now for what it should be. I don't think that good weather did us any good for the garden. Uh, good for the soul, but not good for the garden brings things on a bit too early, including ourselves, we get a bit carried away. Uh, the strawberry runners I took last year. They're supposed to be uh, second cropping. But you can see the flower buds are there. I should really take the fruit off those this year, but they do look well and strong, I'm gonna leave them on. That's the first earlies. Um, it's forecast minus one for us here um, tonight. So I'll have to put fleece over all these. But they're all looking well, the strawberries. Uh, beans uh, keep growing. Um, I'm doing what Terry did on this one here and I keep um, Keep tickling this at night. Uh, not many bees about with it being cool. So just see if that makes any difference. I'm just doing it on that one plant. But I have seen some bees on them. Uh, plenty of flowers there. And they're looking quite well. The onions that I sowed. I'll spin you around slowly. They're doing okay. There's uh, Mammoth Red and Bedfordshire Champion in that one. 
and uh, yeah, they've all taken. Um, I did keep a tray back to put in as uh, spares for ones that didn't manage to survive. But um, they've all come well. Those are me Zavroon. I think they've been in Fortnite now, I think. Yep, but everyone seems to have taken. We get rid of this cold wind and I'll start taking the top, I'll take these fleeces off. But they won't do any harm for now. Underneath these. Yep, they all look quite well. Shallots, they're okay, they're doing good. And in the front of them, um, I did give in and I bought some red heat treated onion sets. I think they're called Red Ray. So they've been in a week, no sign of anything yet. Um, heat treated, a bit slower to get off going, but they'll soon catch up with everything else. All these marks here in the beds, that's the uh, blackbirds after the worms. Uh, we've got quite a few nests around here and they're all feeding the young. That's the first of the um, Jerusalem artichokes. Um, none of the others have come up yet, but that's the first one to come up. The broad beans, uh, they're all looking well. Only two not come. In fact, if I, I did dig around, I think there is one coming there somewhere, I think. Yep, there's one coming there. But the one there, I've had a look and something's bitten that off. But uh, two, isn't too bad. I spaced them wider. Like I said, I would see if there was any difference between them and those over there. The peas that uh, you saw me sow in, they're through. And uh, they look good, they look okay. A couple of misses, but uh, there is still time for them to come through. They do come in through late, some peas do. And there's the first ones that I sowed. Like I say, I get these cold winds gone and I'll get these cloches off. They don't want to be forced too much. But they're looking well. Garlic looks good. Sweet peas are in. I'm putting uh, fleece around them at night. Got some over there. Hilda's mix. They have been hard enough for quite some time now. And uh, under this one, I've sown all my carrots, except for the long ones that I'm going to do. And um, there's four varieties in there. Sweet candle bin one, and potentially there is 440 carrots in there. What I did, if you can see that wire mesh, I, I laid it on top and I put uh, one in every mesh, and they're two inches apart. Um, I would think I will have to thin them between the varieties of the rows, but there's one to every station. So we'll see how they come on. Trial and error. Um, my second sowings last year didn't do very good. So I've gone for it all, all my eggs in one basket. See how we get on. And uh, not really a lot going on. It's weather's still, still cold. Um, it's too early for me for sweet corn, uh, squashes, Pumpkins, uh, runner beans, French beans, too early. You should only see your runner beans once in May. So in other words, plant them at the end. You'll see the seeds in April and you'll see them once in May as they come up. So um, all my first earlies are in and all my second earlies are in now. Uh, potatoes. I've got Aaron Pilot, Duke of York, um, Enya and Charlotte and they're all in now. Seven pots of each. 
and uh, before the weekend or if I can in the next day or two I'll get the um, I'll get the rest of your potatoes in the lates. Usually always put them in at Easter, well Easter's a bit late this week this year. Um, I can cover them all with fleece if they do start coming up and we have frost. So uh, that's where I'm at at the moment. Still seems very bare, but uh, once we get things sewing uh, and a bit of warmth, it'll all start to come up. I have sown some beetroot and some leaf beet direct over in them far beds. Um, I sowed those about five days ago, but uh, haven't come through as yet. And with this weather, I'm not surprised to be fair. Many thanks for watching. If you enjoy what you see, thumbs up please. Always appreciated and your comments, they mean a lot. Uh, good or bad, whatever, we all learn from each other. So many thanks for watching. Hope your season's going well. Take care. Thank you. Bye. You really do get all sorts strolling past here some days. Nice to see. There's a stream on the other side of the uh, field. Well, not a stream, it's just a very slow, it used to be the old riverbed. Very slow moving water. <laughs>